So what's up guys? This video turned out to be a bit longer than I intended, but everything I am talking about is necessary. This is a beginner friendly video. I go semi deep on bump and normal maps, just understanding vector one, two, and three a little bit better, understanding the difference between bump maps and how to create normal maps out of image textures. So let's jump right into Blender. So let's jump right into it. As I mentioned, this is a beginner friendly tutorial on the bottom right. You can see what crazy buttons I am hitting. So we will use a noise texture first and mainly. What is a noise texture? It's just this cloudy image that looks just like this. The factor is black and white. The colors as the name kind of says is colorful. We will get a bump map right in here, hook it up to the normal. Now the question is what will we use, factor or color? We will use factor to control the height. The height just goes from low to high. So let's hook up the factor here again. White is a mountain, black is a valley. It goes up and down, up and down. That's how it works. If you want to control the bumpiness, do not use strength. Strength is kind of a weird fade out. I'm not sh quite sure what it does, but you will be using distance. That's how you reduce the amount of bumps. So actually, now we're going to get a little bit deeper. Um, I said that this is colorful and this is black and white, which is correct. But both are vector three images. This is vector three RGB. It has different colors. This you might say, wait, this is not colorful. This is not RGB, but actually it is. White is 111 and black is 000, vector 3. But height is 021. So this is not necessary. This is overkill. So if you would want to do it correctly, you would separate the color of the factor and only use one value. Oh, not in normal, but in height. Only one value and hook this up and it will look exactly the same. Now you'll say, okay, why use it then? So this would be the correct way, but Blender actually converts it for you so you don't have to do this. But in some other softwares or working with custom engines, uh, actually this would not work and you have to separate it. But in Blender you don't have to. But when would you maybe want to separate it? So Bump maps are actually quite cool because bump maps are vector one, not vector one, two, three. It's vector one. The benefit of being vector one is that in one single RGB texture, you're not using two of the vectors. That means you could also hook up a metallic map into green, a roughness map into blue, because metallic is zero to one. Roughness is zero to one. Both are vector one. So you can store three maps in one JPEG. If you use a PNG, which is a vector four map, you could even store um, maybe something else. I don't know. Yeah, transmission or alpha. Yeah, alpha of course is quite common on vector four even. So you see a bump map can be very cool if you want to stack a lot of things into one texture. Now we're gonna move on to normal maps because I kind of opened up, um, yeah. You'll see in a moment. Let's move to normal maps. So mm, maybe let's delete stuff. Maybe just delete this. So if you Google normal map, you'll notice that this is not what a normal map looks like. A normal map has this purple color, kind of like the normal color on this node here. What we will do is a similar workflow. We'll separate the RGB or the XYZ. We will basically split up the vector three. We will combine the vector three again, either as XYZ or color. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm not quite sure why Blender separates this because RGB is XYZ. It's kind of the same thing, but either way, this is how Blender does it. Um, we will hook up green as well. And we do not hook up blue, but as you see, something's missing. Blue is always constantly on one. So this is basically the definition of a normal map. A normal map is a vector two map, even though vector three is used, which actually is quite annoying. Because in a normal map, in most engines, you could not store a roughness map in the vector three because the vector three has to be constantly on one. I'm not quite sure why this is this way. It kind of was invented this way. Um, I guess the reason was they just 
want you to use one texture for a normal map and stop not start mixing stuff around so a normal map is basically used as a vector 3 map but theoretically could be a vector 2 map since there's no real information coming from the vector 3. Now we will get a normal map node just like this, hook it up just like this and hook up our normal map into color. And now we have a normal map. Let's maybe go to metallic, let's go roughness down and there you have it. And now you might say, but why all this work if we could have just used a bump map? They are not quite the same. So if we hook up the bump map again, you'll notice it actually looks different. On this noise map, it's not quite um, visible what the difference is but let me show you so as the normal map kind of says in its name this is twisting and turning normals where the bump map isn't really uh, let's get a voronoi map and the voronoi map looks like this a very colorful map let's scale it up maybe let's turn down metallic so you kind of see this is a voronoi map if we hook it up to our converter right here and let me show you the color you see we created a normal map this is what we're going to use let's go back to metallic so you see this is what it looks like here now let's really quick create a um, bump map so actually the distance won't quite result in the same so i will use color you could desaturate the color which even outs all vector threes, or you could, since we're using a vector one, just separate the Voronoi into one vector. This is what we're gonna use as a height map, zero to one. Now we'll hook it up. And now look, let's turn on metallic. And now you're starting, or actually I'm not sure if metallic helps. Oh, let's keep metallic, maybe let's do it like this. Now you see it actually looks quite different. So what's happening here? The bump map uses a type of extrusion. It's not extruding anything, but it's basically trying, let's hook up the color again. So whatever is white, it's gonna push higher and whatever is black is gonna push lower. On a displacement map, this would be very visible. On a bump map, it's trying its best to do so on the smooth surface. So obviously there's a certain limit it can push and pull surfaces. What does the normal map do? it actually does quite a different thing. It uses these faces, so let me go down to in strength, and it starts tilting them. Let's turn off roughness again. It starts tilting them. So it tilts them, it twists them. This is something a bump map can't do. A bump map can only build a ramp. So if these were different color, or let's actually use distance, it builds a ramp. So it kind of gets a similar effect. You see it's also twisting normals, but it's building a ramp by going higher, 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 and that will create this slope. While a normal map is actually just twisting, not faces, but pixel-based areas, depending on the color given by the texture. Not this one, but this one to be exact. So the color is controlling the angle the normal is being twisted in. So I hope this helped you understand why you would use a bump map sometimes, why you would use a normal map sometimes. Let me summarize real quick. A bump map is very cool because vector one, so in a RGB texture or even a PNG, which is a vector four texture, you can store a lot of maps from metallic to specular to roughness and bump in one PNG. That would be possible. While in a normal map, it theoretically is a vector two, but it's used as a vector three because blue is constant. So in a normal map, you can't really store anything except a normal map. A little bit annoying, but not a big deal breaker. Benefit of normal map is it twists normals and bump maps basically builds little mountains. So it will depend on the shader, the material the ma that you are trying to create. For example, if you would use uh, car flakes, you might want to use a normal map instead because if we really bump it up and we go down, you see this is a quite glittery ball where with a bump map, have fun creating that effect. Okay, now everything's broken anyways, but if you try it, it just looks different. Um, it just looks different. This is like rough plastic. This is not little metal flakes that are twisted. 
like in a normal map. So you see it's just different. That's it for today. Sorry for polling it this long, but I do think everything I said and showed was necessary for this video and see you next time.